Hello everyone, welcome back once again to Career Queue, a place to curate your career. So Accenture has recently changed its policies on leaves and that is the topic of discussion for today's video. Whether it is good, whether it is bad, we'll get to discuss all about it in the video. Without a further ado, let's get started with the video. So recently Accenture has created a buzz in the IT market, especially within its own employees because it has revamped its leave policy and this leave policy is now flexible and it is based on the city from where you are working. So yes, according to Accenture, uh, they have done a very good job and uh, they have their own specific reasons why they have done this. We will get to know more about it in the video. But let us first know what is the rechanged or renewed policy that Accenture is about to start. So recently, all the employees within Accenture received an email from the HR head Lakshmi Chandrasekhan in which they had talked all about this change or upgradation of the policies within Accenture in that it was communicated to the employees that they are introducing this new kind of leave structure which will help the employees take small and big vacations as and when required and of course based on the locations in which they are living. So yes and there are further things that we will discuss in the video but before discussing uh, but before going further, let me tell you that if you are confused between anything and if you want to connect with me one to one or if you are confused in how to uh, in the selection between two organizations or selection between uh, two technologies, tools and you want an opinion or a help from me, you can come over to topmate.io and book a session. I'll definitely try to help all of you guys and now let's continue with the video. As I've already said that the leave policy is now changed from state to state or city to city basis. Now, if we ask Accenture why they have done this, they said that they wanted to emphasize workers or they said that they want to emphasize employees to start working from tier two and tier three cities as well and not come only to tier one cities because of which they are giving this perk. Now, what we have seen in general in this rule is that all the tier one cities that is cities like Bangalore, Mumbai, Delhi, these kind of cities are having lesser number of leaves when compared with tier two cities. Uh, we have not heard much about tier three. However, tier two cities have got more leaves as compared to tier one cities. Why? Because they want the employees to work from these tier two cities. They want to empower these tier two cities as well. And they just don't want everybody to come into tier one cities and cause a chaos and, uh, you know, the living expense and, and you know, everything goes high. That is the reason actually they want to normalize the fact that people are uh, that people can still work from tier two cities or tier three cities and they can live a good life. That is why they have uh, initiated or they have made this change in their policy and they are uh, implementing this more leaves or kind of more perks in the tier two or tier three cities. This is what Accenture has to say. Now let's get to know more about how many leaves actually are there in multiple cities. According to the news, Accenture Noida employees now will get a total of 40 leaves per year. Yes, that is like a good number, right? So yeah, Accenture Noida employees will get 40 leaves per year, whereas Accenture Bangalore, these employees will get just 35 leaves. So you can see the difference, right? So this is why Accenture wants people to move to Noida, Gurgaon, these kind of places, which are tier two cities, uh, which are being developed by these organizations so that, you know, the people can go there and uh, settle there as well. So this is one kind of way or one kind of perk that they have introduced so that these employees just don't come to tier one cities. They go to these tier two cities as well. Not to forget that the highest number of leaves that Accenture is giving is 45 days of leave and this 45 days is given to the indoor campus. So all of those people who are working in Accenture Indoor, then these guys are entitled to a total leave of 45 days. Now, let me tell you that this 40, 35, 45, whatever number I'm talking about, all of the numbers are a total of your earned leave, your casual leave, your sick leave, all of these leaves included, okay? Uh, these do not include, of course, your uh, festival leaves, that is something else, but the 45 days of leave or the 40 days or the 30 days leave that we have talked about, this includes all the other kind of leaves that, you know, you take when, you know, um, you on uh, because of your reasons cannot work. So it's a totality of that. 
another change that they have brought is in the number of leaves within the type of leaf now casual leaf is one thing that accenture did not have in its you know types of leaves but they have introduced this casual leaf in their uh, different kinds of leaves that, that it gives to its employees and we also know that you know within accenture there was a uh, earned leaves each employee got a total of 24 days of earned leaves and the remaining was sick leaves but now it has changed the policy and the number of earned leaves from 24 it has been reduced to 18 and the number of days that you can take as sick leave that has been increased to 12. So let me tell you that sick leave is one leave that you can take uh, on priority on the specified day you do not need to intimate anyone in advance and you know just one fine day you wake up and you don't feel like working or you wake up with a cough and cold or suddenly you have an injury or something happens to you, you can avail the sick leave on priority and uh, all you need to do is just inform your teammate that due to several specific reasons, you will be on sick leave that day. So that is sick leave but whereas the earned leaves or casual leaves for these kind of leaves you need to intimate your manager from you know beforehand and you need to take proper approvals, you need to make a person uh, responsible for you need to make a person as a replacement for your responsibilities while you are not there. So these kind of things you need to take care of when you are availing your earned leave or casual leave. But sick leave, uh, when you are in a sick leave, you need not do that. However, of course, sick leave comes with its own set of rules and regulations. If you take a more than a three number of days uh, of sick leave, you know, consecutively, then you need to show all your proper prescriptions and everything. You have to submit all your reports. So you cannot take three or more days of sick leave directly not that you cannot take but uh, you know it's like uh, if you take three or more days of consecutive sick leaves then you need to show proper reasons you need to show proper documentation when you are you know submitting when you are coming back and we are submitting that uh, more than three days of leave uh, as sick leave then you need to submit those kind of documents however if you're taking just one day or two days uh, then you need not submit any kind of document so that is about the leaves and uh, one more thing that they have reintroduced or they have uh, modified a bit is the number of days you can take uh, carry forward your leaves okay so what is this carry forward policy let me tell you that if for example you were not able to take those many days so say for example i have 40 days of leaves and i was only able to take 20 days of leave and remaining 20 is still there with me and um, it, it is still there and you know if I do not take it will get wasted so then these organizations give their employees the privilege that they can carry forward the remaining days of leave to the next year so next year what will happen you'll again get or I'll again get 40 days of leave and then these remaining 20 days 60 days of leave so for next year I'll be entitled to 60 days of leave like all the leaves cannot be carry forwarded okay like uh, what I know many organizations have that sick leaves cannot be carry forwarded either you take it or it will get lapsed so even in the type of leave or the number of leaves that you can carry forward that has changed from location to location basis so what we know is that Bangalore and Delhi people they can carry forward a total of 45 days of leave there may be other locations which can carry forward a different number of leaves which is you know different from Bangalore and Delhi okay so these are the differences or these are the modifications that Accenture has brought in its leave policy so from when will this leave policy be uh, implemented so the leave year within Accenture is implemented or will be uh, implemented from 1st of September so just next month onwards this uh, entire phenomena or this fundamentals of whatever change has been uh, said or communicated that will get implemented so from September 1 to next year August 31 that will be the leave year uh, policy and you know any leaves uh, that you have to take uh, within one year all of them will get uh, lapsed in August 31 next year so uh, please get a clarity on which leaves you can carry forward which leaves you cannot carry forward if you cannot then will it get encashed or will it get lapsed if it will get lapsed try to consume those kind of leaves first and then go on with the uh, leaves that can be carry forward or can be encashed because you know if they get lapsed you will get no benefit you will not take your leave you will not get the money you cannot carry forward you'll be on the losing end right so try to take those consume those leaves those kind of leaves first and then go on for other kind of leaves just keep this one thing in mind that uh, your leave year will start from September 1 and will end in August 31. So before next year, August 31, you should have a clear picture on how many days uh, of leave is remaining, on how many days of leave can be carry forwarded and how many leaves will get lapsed and based on that, make your planning accurately. Okay.
Now, one thing that is coming to my mind is that, okay, that Accenture has revamped and changed its policies because it has given certain reasons, of course. But my point is whether it will be able or will it be successful in doing or achieving what it has done uh, because of what it has done. Okay, It has uh, given more leaves to tier 2 uh, city employees just to make the perks greater. But the point is that when we move to tier 2 cities, I'm not saying that all projects, but generally the number of projects and the type of projects, they reduce a little bit. Okay, so the type of projects or the number of projects that are in Bangalore office and that goes for all organizations, the number and the type of projects that are in Bangalore office, the same number or the same type of projects might not be there in the Noida office. So if an employee wants to work in a certain project, okay, if an employee wants to work in a certain project, uh, which is not there in Noida, he will anyhow want to come to Bangalore, it really doesn't matter that he'll get five days extra leave or three days extra leave. I don't think that matters to any of the employees as much. So, you know, I think that uh, apart from implementing or revising the policies, organizations should also try to get good projects, good development projects for tier two cities, unless and until uh, the organizations are able to keep uh, good projects or bring good projects to tier two or th tier three cities employees will not go to those cities. That is what I think. Just let me know what is your thought, whether Accenture will be able to achieve in whatever uh, you know it wants to achieve, whether this policy will help or is this policy even fair for the employees? You know, just because I've been living in Bangalore, I'm entitled to lesser number of leaves. And because somebody is living in some other city, that uh, that person is entitled to more number of leaves. Is that even fair to the employees? Just let me know in the comment section what you think about this uh, change in the policy that Accenture has brought. It'll definitely be um, fun reading and discussing more on this topic. And yeah, if you want to connect with me one to one, you can come over to topmate.io. I have pasted the link in the video as well as in the description box. I'll come again tomorrow with another new video. Till then, stay tuned to Kariyaku. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.